What's up guys, Baker here. Today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today it's going to be the Sam Calder uh, title text animation. And uh, forgive me, I'm a little sick, but I was able to get a little free time today to record the tutorial. So uh, excuse my weird sounding voice. But today I want to talk about this little uh, title text animation. Ever since I uploaded my last tutorial, I got a lot of uh, requests for this little handwritten text wiggle. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So uh, you can see you got the text and it's just kind of wiggling. Looks like it's homemade, you know, handwritten paint or marker or whatever it is. So I'm going to go over two techniques on how to achieve this kind of effect. And then uh, we can have some fun with it. So first you want to download this font. It's called Surfing Capital. If you're wondering how I found this font, just uh, go to whatfontis.com. It's a pretty useful website that I use all the time. All you got to do is upload an image with some text on it, and it will uh, identify where that font came from. So anytime you want to ask me for what font you know so-and-so uses, just go ahead and take a screenshot, use this website, and then uh, you can download the font right away. So go ahead and download this. Uh, Quick warning, this is a pretty heavy, intensive font, so uh, just be wary of that when you use this at full resolution. So first, we'll jump into After Effects, and let's pretend we have some footage here in our main comp. This could be your, uh, you know, intro scene or something, and you want to have a little title that says, you know, presenting, blah, 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 film by, blah, 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 whatever you want. So first, we're going to go to Composition, New Composition, and call this Title Text. Okay, let's go and take our text tool, go in the middle here and just type in uh, Baker's Tuts, whatever name you want. And you can see here we have our surfing capital. And if we zoom in here at full res, 100%, we can see there's a lot of little dots. And that's why it's kind of heavy. It's like a custom, some kind of custom image texture or something. I don't know. If you don't like this texture, you can just put on a quick uh, fast blur and maybe blur this one or two pixels just to kind of get rid of that uh, texture anyways we got our handwritten text now we need it to animate the first technique I'm gonna show you is by using my scribble animation preset I made uh, quite a while ago about three years ago it's an After Effects preset that lets you do this uh, scribble animation kinda of like uh, Rugrats or Ed and Eddie or you know one of those old cartoons and um, pretty simple go ahead and download that one for free and watch that tutorial to see how to install that and use that but basically what you're gonna do is make an adjustment layer type in scribble animation this is the one that you will be downloading that I made apply it to your adjustment layer or the text in this case and just scrub through and you can see we got some wiggling some of the settings I want to go through here are um, turbulent displace. You got the size. So this is the uh, size of the wiggle. So I can do this 150 and you'll see that you get some larger wiggles, which doesn't really look good. You don't want the letters to move. You just want them to wiggle. So keep these kind of small. I got three copies here. I got 50, 25, and 5. And the amounts just uh, change how much the turbulent displace is. So first one size second one's amount and there's three copies of that so you can play around with those values to get something that you like and the last effect down here is called posterized time all that does is it changes the frame rate of just that image because our main composition is 24 frames per second but in order for this text to look kinda choppy and handwritten you can change it to 10 frames per second so if I just take my title text here drop this over my footage and maybe slide this down a little bit and RAM preview you will see we got some wiggly handwritten text pretty cool so like I said you can go in here and uh, change a bunch of the settings that's fine but there is another approach I want to show you guys and I go something like this so reset just to your text layer here and we are actually going to use the puppet pin tool. Now I do have a separate tutorial on this if you want to learn how to animate a still image. So we're gonna go back to the uh, main composition where we can see our pre-comped title text here. We're gonna take our puppet pin tool 
and just start placing pins kind of around the text where we might want it to wiggle. Now this technique is really cool because you can customize the position of each little piece of text and it gives you a lot more control on what moves to where. So I can take this K and stick it up a little higher. I can move this R and wiggle it down here. And it's just like you got little, you know, puppet letters. So you can customize the animation exactly how you want, but you're going to have a lot of keyframes. So one thing I suggest doing is resetting that and adding a wiggle expression to uh, each of these little pins. So first what you want to do is type in slider and bring on a slider control. And this will be our uh, wiggle strength or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So we'll go to the first pin here and alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle. Now the first uh, parameter is your speed and since this is going to be you know choppy doesn't really matter but I'm just going to make it match my frame rate which is 24 comma and then the mount is going to be the strength so pick whip this to your wiggle strength and then close it off with a parentheses so if I change my strength to maybe 25 you will see this S starts wiggling and the reason why I'm pick whipping to this strength is because we're going to need to copy this expression. You don't necessarily want to hardwire all these values all the way down. And then if you don't like something, you're going to have to go into each expression and change it individually. So with this uh, slider up here, we can change everything simultaneously. So I'll take this effect here and right click and copy expression only. And then we're going to go to all these other expressions for the position of the puppet pin and then go to edit paste. Now all these values turn red so you know they have an expression on them and we are successful. Let's go back out here and check out what we got. So it is wiggling really fast like I said before and that's because it's wiggling at 24 frames per second but if we apply that effect I mentioned earlier we can just set this down to maybe 10 frames per second. And this is cool because this won't affect your background footage, which may be 24 or 30 frames per second. This effect only affects this pre-comp, which is just the text. So now we got some cool text like that. It is wiggling a little bit too much, so maybe I'll do 10 pixels for the wiggle amount. And then if I want, I can go into the expressions and just choose a couple of these and instead of linking to this number I can link it up to something higher so everything can wiggle at a strength of 10 and this one looks like this T over here will wiggle with a strength of 25 just to give it a little bit more randomness so anyways guys that's pretty much it just wanted to show you how to make this cool handwritten wiggle title text animation and you got uh, two approaches you can use my preset that I've made to do a automatic uh, scribble animation or you can use the puppet pin tool to make a more controlled and more customizable wiggle to exactly how you want it. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something and uh, if you got any questions feel free to hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Comment if uh, you got any other suggestions for tutorials and I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, peace.